Hello there, fellow space captains, it's Connor, and oh, do I have a treat for you. Before you sits the Interceptor, a Titan Defense Systems attack craft, and it is one of the most glorious attack craft in the game. It's very, very special to me, holds a very, very special place in my heart, and I love it. I love it. This ship, I love every part of it. Look at it. Aesthetically, it is gorgeous. Keeping it in line with the gorgeous ship designs from Titan Defense Systems. I love it. Bit strange, it has a hanger on the top of the ship. Never seen that before. Uh, but yeah, so I have unlocked this ship and I have had about 10 games in the ship. And to be truthful, those games have been horrible. I've been pulling my hair out, shouting, raging, ranting. Uh, so I decided not to upload any of those videos to YouTube. So I'm going to try here again. Uh, I just unlocked the rotary autoloader. I had one game in it, so I'm just actually going to look at the stats here again. Refire rate. Uh, so it takes longer to fire. Overheat efficiency. Hmm. So there's a shorter penalty for overheating, but I don't overheat anyway. So you know what? I'm going to go back to the basic rotary autoloader. Oh, it's not even an autoloader, is it? No, the rotary cannon. I have a really difficult time saying rotary, don't I? Rotary. Yeah, so that's the only thing I've unlocked for the ship, but I'm not going to go with it. Just everything here is going to be basic, uh, default loadout. So let's see if we can't find ourselves a game. Alright, let's hope it doesn't take too long. Let's hope it actually loads into the game. A lot of the time, for some reason, it gets stuck on the loading screen. I have no idea why it's doing that, but we'll survive. For as long as we have the TDS ship line, we know we'll stay alive. Right. Uh, yeah, so there's two new ships coming, I believe, in the next update. Actually, you know what? I'm pretty sure there's one of the new ships coming in the next update. Not too sure about the other one. The ship I'm sure about that's coming in the next update is the uh, new sniper for the ESR. Honestly, it looks okay. I'm not really a fan of the aesthetic design of the ESR. I know they have to be different, each of the factions, but... Yeah, I'm fine with ships like the Destroyer, the Black Widow. Honestly, it's not really my cup of tea, though, a lot of the ESR ships. Uh, but this is a new sniper, and honestly, I would have went with a new sniper for Titan Defense Systems first, because they don't have one. But Titan are getting their own stealth ship, their first stealth ship. It's a support, I believe, and it goes by the name of the Basilisk. I'll put an image of the Basilisk on screen, so you can all just bathe in its glory. Look at how this ship looks. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Unbelievably stunning. It's a really nice looking ship. Right, so here we are in game. Oh dear, I'm being shot out already. Why does everyone always shoot at me? Hello, everyone. Right, what have we got here? Anthraxicus, a Black Widow. Daxlo, in a brawler. Rofed Dorkiski, in. Well, he's not in our team, fuck him then. Uh, Raider Niji. In a pioneer on XTC in the Enforcer. Or, sorry, Watchman. So we've got an all. Oh, we got a protector. Great. Just let everybody know they're on the YouTubes. Play your best. I'm hoping that goes double for my team because I've had horrible, horrible games the past couple of days. Hoping it will pick up. Hello. Right, so, yeah, the Interceptor. Very much enjoying it. I have to get it through my thick skull that I'm not playing the Reaper anymore. Because I'm not. In the Reaper... You've seen me play it. I play it kind of aggressively in the Reaper. In this ship, I can't do it because basically I don't have the Shroud ability. The Shroud saves your ass in the Reaper more than a few times in a game. Uh, but this ship's different. You have to kind of keep back. You don't really push the line. You don't push your team forward. Oh, shit, somebody disconnect. Damn it, Mac Trap. Make sure you get back into the game. If you leave and stay leave, leave the, I will hunt you down and kill you. And no one will know who did it. Right, so they've got a Reaper. I really do hate when somebody leaves the game. It really just makes... Well, obviously things unfair, but I like a fair match. Even if I do lose and die a lot, it's still a fair match. Let's see if we can poke him in the butt. 
Come on, keep that big arse up there. Yeah, <laughs> we got him. <laughs> That'll teach you not to keep your arse poking out behind that there station, Mr. Rufid Doroskiski. Oh, and he got racked. Nice shot, Watchman. Nice shot, lad. Alright, so I'm going to push the line here. Oh, I forgot to capture that last station. I am a numpty. I am a numpty. I'll cap this one, then I'll move back. You know what? Because I'm a legend. Where are they going? Oi! Oi! Fellas, where are you going? Back here. Escort me, you damn son of a bitches. Alright, so it looks like we might have a good game here. I hope. So, uh, with the Watchmen... Oh, he's in early now. Oh, I'm alone here. All alone again. No one here beside me. My problems had all gone. There's no to ride in me. But you gotta have faith that you play the Reaper next game. I have a horrible singing voice. I apologize about that. But yeah, um, whenever I play the Interceptor, I just feel like I would be more comfortable in a Reaper. Not because the Interceptor is a bad ship. It's the exact opposite. It's an amazing ship, but I'm just more comfortable with the play style of the Reaper, and mainly because I'm not too sure of how to play this thing. Hello, Mr. Brawler. Thank you for the assistance, everybody. Mechtrap's back. Thumbs up for Mechtrap for actually coming back, restarting the game, and reconnecting. Welcome back, Mechtrap. Okay, here we go. Oh fuck, I'll go back and get my damage, because I need damage. Very uneventful game so far. That's the way it usually is in the Interceptor. I'm not too keen on actually pushing forward. Is it say cautious there? Not too keen on pushing forward in this ship all that much. But, uh... Yeah. Alright, let's talk a little bit about the weaponry of this beast. So the Ghost Driver. Awesome weapon. Still not fully used to aiming it yet. The rotary cannon, one of the best damn weapons in the game. I really do believe that. It's awesome. Now, you do have to take into consideration it's uh, overheating and letting the thing cool down. But when you've got those sorted out, definitely an awesome weapon. The targeting inhibitor, very, very useful ability. I really do like it. The, uh, well, the missiles, concussion missiles, speak for themselves. Fighters, always nice to have a wing of bombers or fighters. Well, what's this fellow doing? Okay, so they're playing a little cautious as well. Um, so I'm pretty much holding this. Oh, she's a. Just cut by a Reaper there. I need help, please. Gotcha. Alright, so he's going to try and... I need help. Yeah, so the rotary cannon isn't... Jesus, a really long range weapon, so... It's more mid to close range. I really do like using it in close range, I have to say. Just shotgun them in the face with it. It's awesome when it's used like that. Jeez, the Ghost Driver on the Reaper once again. Come on, hit him again. Fuck, missed him. I'm going to have to pull back and heal up here. Trust these guys to cover me. Seem to be doing an awesome job so far. Gamma soon, lads. Right, so it looks like they're pulling back. Good job, lads. Thank you for the help. I wasn't expecting them to all jump in there at the same time. Haven't got any kills yet. I am doing horribly in this game. Uh... Jump the Gamma. Let's go. Everyone. Everyone. To Gamma. Oh, they're here as well. Or did they pull back? They're just... No, they're still here. They're still here. Oh, shit. Asteroid, what are you doing there? Right as they jump in, I'm going to go high here. 
see if I can't show the raider the incredible strengths. Oh, where's he going? See if I can't hit him with a gauze driver. Damn it! I just feel like ships are jumping out more quickly now. Were they buffed? Was the uh, jump time buffed or, or reduced or something? Feels like it was. What do you see the damage here that the rotary cannon does? It's ridiculous. Just keep watching his health drop. I love it so much. It's going to overheat. Stop firing. Wait for it to cool down. That's him down. Where's the other fellow? Where's the Reaper? Is he dead? Alright, we got Gamma. Good stuff, lads. Going to jump to Beta. They're pushing B. I just love harassing them with the ghost driver. <laughs> I mean, that explosion is glorious. I just love watching it. Let's recall fighters to get a couple of extra fighters in the squadron. Need to get into that cap circle so I can level up. Communication is integral in this game. It's really important. I feel... I mean, I have said a lot lately that I really wish voice comments were in the game, but I have a feeling that, like a lot of games, people won't even use it, because a lot of people are shy, which is understandable. But in a game like this, where it's not 30 versus 30, or 40 versus 40, or you know, 20, or whatever, it's really important to be able to communicate with your team. And taking time to type can affect you over sometimes. Alright, so, interceptor behind this asteroid here. See, I'm being awful cautious. In the Interceptor, I wouldn't be as cautious. Or not the Interceptor, the Reaper. Keep getting those two shifts mixed up, and they're jumping home. I don't think Mr. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, we're not going to be able to get him. Level 6 already? I only just got the other one. Alright, so, cap this. Maybe if we continue pushing, I can level up at beta. Alright, so I did say that the other games I had in the ship recently weren't that good. And that's true, they weren't, but I did get a lot of kills in them. This here is just the opposite. Everyone else is pulling their own weight. Alright, so he's not going to be taking any damage. Let's wait for the shield to drop. By the time it does, the this will be ready to... Ah, uh, shit. Does do AoE damage as you saw there. It took 30, 388 damage. As well as some uh, dot damage. Dot means damage over time. It's from my World of Warcraft days. Yeah, Lingo. Let's use our target inhibitor. Going to overheat. Stop firing. You know what? Well, I'm waiting for that to cool. You know what? Actually, screw it. Ghost driver charging. Come on. I think he's charging his as well. Doesn't matter. He's going to die. Come on. I've overheated. Shit, I wasn't paying attention. Yes, thank you, Mr. Hunter, or Enforcer. Thank you. Save my ass. I'm going to die. Oh, that was so close. Pull him back. Thank you. Make sure I get his name right. Three kills, zero deaths. Alright, let's just... You know what, I'm going to jump to Alpha. See if I can't start capping some of these mains. Get a little bit of an advantage over them in level. Because we actually are. We're two levels higher than them. Well, that seems a little bit unfair. What have they got? Colossus, Raider, Interceptor, Revenant, and a Brawler. It's not too different than our setup. 
Well, we don't have any heavies. Suppose that's making the difference. All damage. Deploy fighters. Alright, let's keep pushing here. I have that requirements. We're ready to go. Alright, going gamma. Got the mains. Objective complete. Oh hello. See if we can mess up somebody's there. Ghost driver, come on, hurry up. Come on, charge. Fire, fire, fire. There we go. Massive amount of damage. I love the Ghost driver. It's an amazingly awesome weapon. But this ship, no armor to speak of. Very, uh, not that high HP compared to a lot of other ships. But it's still very enjoyable nonetheless. Oh, he tried to hit me with a Gauss. I think he missed. Somebody flew in front of him. Ah, oh, shit, I gotta pull back, gotta pull back. I'm not gonna be able to pull back, am I? Target down. If I stay here, I'm gonna die, but I'm gonna die anyway. Yeah, that AoE damage from the flak. Six kills. Those guys are doing awesome, especially in the Watchmen and on the Enforcer. Amazing job, guys. Right. The first game in two days where I've actually had a team who actually coordinates and works well together. That's unheard of. I thought it would have improved whenever the MMR matchmaking came into play, but it, it seems like people who even have a higher matchmaking than me, or MMR, whatever that means, matchmaking something, have uh, no idea how to play the game, like they've just begun, and I don't understand that. It confuses me a great deal. Alright, so, three, two, one, and here we go. Alright, uh, Ted Alpha. And we need to get inside our FOB, Forward Operating Base, to get that level up. The was then we will be two levels ahead of them again. <laughs> A little bit unfair, but, well, don't complain about the cards dealt here. Send our fighters to Escort X to see, just to give them a little bit of extra damage. It would be nice if you could, um, let's say the protector, instead of it healing, you could have like an ability where it covers an allied ship and drones, and the drones absorb damage, kind of like a, a, a defense buff, so it becomes actually what the name would suggest, a protector and not a healer. I, I really just like healers in the game, but I, I think edge case are going to stick with them, even though a lot of people, I think actually most of the community, who have been sticking with the game from it was first released, really dislike it. So, you know what, let's charge up the Gauss driver. See if we can't help our, our mate here. He's dead. And he's behind cover, so we need to pull back here and wait for reinforcements. Oh, he, did he pull back? And oh, we did. You get out of there, awesome stuff. Alright, I think the Colossus has pulled back as well. Oh, frig, GG.
so that everyone knows so they can watch it. Oh, they surrendered? Oh, okay, I was unfortunate. Well, uh, I don't know. It seems uh, that having five attack craft is pretty powerful. I mean, I didn't get a shot in Edgeways there. They all did incredibly well. Still getting to grips with the, um, as I said, the Interceptor. Not as confident in it as I am some other ships. Hopefully that will improve so I can better understand the ship. Get a better understanding of how it plays, how it, its uh, strengths and weaknesses. Because it's been a long time since I played it. Wow, did I get top XP there? Or top contribution? I did get... Wait, what? How does that work out? Or is it just randomly... I don't know. Zero deaths. Well, one death, some... I don't have a clue how that worked out. I mean, a couple of these guys did a lot better than I did. But I'll take it. <laughs> I'll take it. Uh, if, oh, it's the first one of the day. Maybe that's why. Who knows. But, there you go, guys. That is the Interceptor. Now, I would... I actually don't like saying this. But I do have a Patreon page. It's uh, linked below. Uh, currently got three patrons and they're all awesome. Thank you very much, guys, for uh, donating. But if anyone else would like to donate, then it is there. I Anything from a dollar upwards, but I wouldn't... Don't be giving too much, please. It's only what you can afford. And, well, it will help me in getting a better internet connection. Which is really important because streaming right now is impossible. Literally impossible. I can't stand the low quality of the stream. It's really annoying me. So, uh, yeah, that would help improving that. And, well, again, thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you next time, guys. Bye-bye. Good day, loyal citizens of the Empire. Today, the Emperor has employed a system that will allow you to support the latest Imperial endeavors. Click the link below to support a safer and brighter future for every citizen of the Empire.